my best piece of advice for beginning photographers just getting into this, and and I think a lot of photographers make this mistake, uh, especially you know because I listen to my students and say you know what gear do you have, and they give me this list that uh, gear I don't even have, of, uh, and I've been doing this for forty two years, but they'll give me this huge list because they have to buy everything that they're told to buy by YouTubers or other photographers. And, you know, someone said on my channel, like, it's a matter of trying to keep up with the Joneses kind of thing. You know, well, he has that. I want that too. But th this is the problem with that, is that when you start out in photography, it's hard. This is not easy. You're not going to start making money tomorrow. You you have to work at this. It is it is a business before anything. No matter how good you are, it's a business. There are photographers that are making really good money that are just basically good photographers, not great, not exceptional, but they're better businessmen than they are photographers. And here's where it hurts is that you buy all this gear, you throw it on credit cards or whatever. And then it's like, oh my God, I have to sell everything. I'm not making any money. I, I, I don't want to waste all this time. And, and you lose so much money on the sale. Start off small. I mean, today's shoot, I'm going to shoot with one strobe, one camera, and just that's it. You know, just a white backdrop. Now, I'm using the scrim here, which you don't have to buy a giant scrim like I have. You can just get the scrim material for pennies and hang it between two light stands or hang it from a ceiling and shoot the strobe through it. There's no softbox here. There's no umbrella. It's just a scrim, okay? So, again, you don't need a big giant scrim with a frame and everything like that. Camera-wise, I'm just shooting using the Fuji X100. Um, the six, but again, it doesn't matter what camera you're using. I'm going to do studio shots with the, a Fuji X100 six. This is, you know, a street photography camera. But if I started off with this, I can do the work that I do and get away with it. If I'm using frame IO in here, because I need a backup, <laughs> but just saying that you don't need the most expensive gear to shoot everything that you want to shoot or anything that you may think you want to shoot. As you build up business, then buy that next camera or that next lens. Build up slow so you're not taking the financial hit in the beginning and then looking back going, oh, I have to sell everything. And, and it's, it's bad because, you know, it gives you a bad taste in your mouth for photography. It's like, well, I tried it. I didn't make it because I had all this money and gear and now I have to sell it just to pay the bills. You can't look at photography gear and go, well, I'm going to buy all this stuff. I'm going to have business and that'll pay for it. It just doesn't work that way. Um, start small. Please just start small because even if you start small and, and the business doesn't work out, at least you have something you can actually enjoy doing. Um, and, you know, maybe it'll turn into something after that. But going into this, buying all the gear you possibly could ever need and the best cameras, the best lenses, and then finding out, well, not make any money. I have to sell it all. It, it kind of stings. Uh, and it kind of gives you a bad taste in your mouth about photography. So start small. Anyway, let's enjoy the shoot today. Literally one strobe behind this scrim. Um, and again, d don't go out and buy this giant frame scrim thing. This was a little less expensive. I think it was an Adorama of one that was a little, a little less expensive. But you can get this material cheap and just hang it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just shooting a light through it. If you want to use a softbox, use a softbox or an umbrella, whatever it is. But start small. Um, and then we're going to use the Fuji. I'm, I have it at f4.5, I think it is. Let me see. I have it at two thousandths of a second because I wanted to wipe out all the light in here. Now, because this is a leaf shutter in here, I can shoot at two thousandths and not lose any power off my strobe, which I love. Um, this is such a great shoot. I think this is a great camera for beginners. I really do. Um, you know, the pro photo is a little expensive, but you can get the little X3 remote. I use this one because it's so tiny and it works so well with this camera, but you can get the, the Godox X3 and one of their speed lights to start anything like that. Start small, you know, don't blow the funds, throw it on the credit card and put yourself in debt thinking I'm just going to pay for it. Cause I'm going to have jobs out the gazoo because I have the best camera and the best lights. It, it, it won't work that way, I promise you. Anyway, let's get into the shoot. Thanks for watching, as always. If you have any questions, leave them below. 
you know, this kind of shoot for me is the greatest shoot. I mean, it's just one light, you know, through this giant scrim. The reason I love this giant scrim is because the model can move anywhere. She can move to the backdrop. She can move closer to the camera. She can go down on the floor and it doesn't matter. The light's covering everything and it's gorgeous light. And this is, again, it's just one light. Now it doesn't have to be, like I said, this expensive scrim. You can just get the scrim material and hang it. Uh, it's going to do the same thing. It doesn't have to be a big pro photo light. You can use a speed light. You know, you're going to have to raise your ISO a little bit more than I do uh, because mine's, you know, more powerful light, but you can get an inexpensive used studio strobe or a more powerful light used that doesn't have all the bell, bells and whistles. It's going to do the same thing. Because remember, I'm shooting manually on this. You know, I just set the light and I don't have to change anything through this shoot. I don't have to change my aperture, my light power, uh, my light position. I can just shoot no matter where she's at. That's why this is so much fun. And, and that's the irony of all this is like the bare minimum is the best for me. And even though I have the equipment, I still go down to the bare minimum when I want to enjoy a shoot and get the best shots. This is the system I use. So I understand that, you know, you want everything that another guy has, or you can't shoot or do the job right because you don't have the latest, greatest equipment. You know, a, a really quick story. I was at a hockey game. I was shooting a, a high school hockey game and I'm down on the pit because this was my arena and, and I shot professional hockey here. And the kids came to shoot at this arena and I'm shooting. And there was a gentleman sitting right next to me. I was down in the pit. He was sitting up in, in the stand and he had the brand new Nikon camera that I always wanted, the lens that I always wanted. And I'm sitting here going, and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm this, this, uh, player's dad. Oh, this is just one without the strobe. I just wanted to show you what I'm getting without the strobe. But he's like, oh, I'm just this player's dad. I'm like, what do you do? And he goes, oh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I think, okay, yeah, now I understand. But it, it stung because I wanted all that equipment, but I didn't need it. I was still getting the shots. And he came to me for advice on how to shoot better and, and how to use a, his equipment, which stung even more than he has this gear that I couldn't have. And he didn't know how to use it. But that's the thing that we're always looking to get what somebody else has or the latest, greatest, when we can still do the job with the equipment we have. You know, we just have to get used to it. And, you know, the, the best part of this is you can just enjoy photography and you have no uh, stress over, oh my God, I got to pay the credit card bill for this, this equipment. And it makes it a lot harder. You know, when you own your equipment, you can afford your equipment and there's no stress behind it. You can just shoot and enjoy and, and have fun. And, and believe me, if it doesn't work out, you're still enjoying photography without that headache of, you know, I have fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars of the photography equipment that I'm not making any money on. I gotta sell it to pay off the bills. Anyway, th that's my rant <laughs> for this shoot. Um, you know, this is more about gear and and what you need versus what you want um, than the shoot itself. But I did want to show you this shoot because it is a bare bones, bare minimum uh, setup, and I'm getting great shots and and just enjoying the shoot itself. You know, this little point and shoot camera that's, that everybody thinks is a, you know, street camera alone, it's doing the job and it's doing it well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the shoot. This was a lot of fun for me. And remember, just get what you need. The rest will come. <laughs>